Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and this is Fluke Fridays episode number 132. I'm glad you joined. <clears throat> Today what we're going to be going over is I got my hands on a few Fluke tools so you are going to see in the upcoming weeks more videos on Fluke tools which I love. Um, what we're going to go over today though is the Link IQ Duo. So this has been something that was requested from the moment Link IQ first came out. People wanted the capability of testing the Wi-Fi network. So we are going to go over uh, the Wi-Fi capabilities of this and what you're going to be able to see in your Wi-Fi networks with Link IQ. We're also going to look at the fiber kit that you can buy. And I believe the fiber kit will work with any Link IQ, whether it's Duo or the original Link IQ. And it will allow you to get switch information via the fiber port um, on the switch. So kind of a cool idea. Let's jump into it and look at the tools up close. Okay, so here is our Link IQ Duo and you also have your fiber conversion kit over here. Um, I'll start with the fiber conversion kit just so I can get these parts out of our way. You can see that these each have different uh, gigabyte ratings for the various ones so here's one and ten so you're gonna you're gonna get both of those this is just a power pack that you're gonna use to power these guys so you don't have to have a connection to a wall outlet and this cord is very important because you're gonna be plugging that into here right um, because it doesn't have a USB-C port on the other end so you got to have this if you want to fire this guy up okay so you want to be aware of that you also have these little connectors that are rated for different functionalities um, for the fiber world so there's four of them and they do different things so you're gonna need all of those that's what you get with this and when you do the test with the fiber kit uh, the fiber kit you essentially get all the information that you get on the Link IQ when you do a switch test with regular uh, copper Ethernet cables, except you get it with the fiber. The, uh, the, the one thing, I saw a video, the one thing that you need to be aware of is it'll tell you the speed domain test, and that is a speed test from the Link IQ to the fiber converter, not to the fiber port itself. But other than that, you're going to see all the information you're going to see the IP address, you're going to see VLAN. I don't know if we have any results in here. Let's see. Oh, no, that's a Wi Fi. Um, so you, you'll see all of that information and be able to get information about the switch through the fiber port and knowing that your connection is actually, your switch is actually putting out a signal um, through the cable or through the fiber. I shouldn't say the cable, through the fiber. So that's the fiber kit. Now let's kind of jump into Link IQ Duo and the exciting parts with this. So you can see the interface is different than your traditional Link IQ screen. You now have a fiber section and a Wi-Fi section, okay? And we I have videos on the old Link IQ for all the fiber things. So we've got the auto test, switch test, and the cable test. The cable test is going to tell you that the cable is good, your terminations are good, and the speed or the throughput that that cable is going to be able to do. Switch test, same thing as I talked about with the, the uh, fiber side. It's going to tell you VLAN, it's going to tell you IP address, MAC address, all sorts of different things, uh, what port it's in, things like that. And then the auto test will do whatever you're connected to. In the cable test, just a reminder, you do get these little um, remote IDs so you can get multiple of the remote IDs and have be in one location and be able to see which ID goes where so because that'll pop up in that test okay enough about that now we're gonna jump into the network side of things so few things that you might care about is you might want to just connect to a network and then see results so you can see all the different networks that will show up in your area you can click on one um, so if you want to click on one our site and you wanted to click to it, you then have to type in your password. I'm not going to do that for this one because I have an example of a result right over here. So let me show you what a result looks like. 
So it'll tell you your all this information at the top, right? Um, your access point, where you're getting it from. It's going to tell you your signal strength in DBM, and it's going to tell you your uh, speed rates, upload and download speeds, I believe is that TX and RX stands for. And so you get that, and it'll ping the internet to make sure you have access to the internet. So that's kind of cool um, if you're wanting to do an individual test. And you can walk around and watch these numbers, um, like watch the signal strength de decrease the further you get away and see where it needs to be so you can kind of map an area. Um, the other thing you can do is a channel test. The channel test is kind of cool. So with the channel test, you get to see which channels, based on the frequency, so you got 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and then at some point in the future, 6 gigahertz. Well, it's already capable of this. And it tells you which access points and how many devices are on each channel. And you can see it's kind of a busy, you know, at, at it, most homes, you got a lot of devices going on. And you can see what's going on. But if you had... Uh, a enterprise network and you realize there's a lot of clutter on let's say your access point is putting off on channel one or two and there's a lot of clutter on there you might switch an, the adjacent access point to be a different channel within that 2.4 gigahertz range and that would allow the things to not be um, over utilize so you can see channel utilization here and that's what this bar graph is and then these long lines, I believe, are the channel overlap. So if you click that, those bar lines, the horizontal lines go away. Okay. And you can click on the 5 gigahertz and you see different channels. You scroll left and right to see those. Uh, let's see if we can find one. Oh, there's one. There's the 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz does not have near the range that the 2.4 gigahertz has. So you're going to see less of that. And it's only going to be the access points that are really close to you that you're going to be able to see. Okay. And then access points. You can see all the access points that you're going to have around and their signal strength. Anyways, this is the Link IQ Duo. It's pretty slick little device, and um, you should check it out if it's something you think you, you could use at your place of work. The other thing I was going to say is if you get this, always check your firmware. Make sure your firmware is up to date. I do have another video that talks about how to update the firmware. It works with the Duo the exact same way as the old Link IQ um, as far as updating the firmware. I got this one in, and it did have older firmware. And I watched my video, walked me through step by step. So it's a great, great little tool. So check that out. Also in the description below, I will put links to this. So if it's something you want to buy and you want to support the channel, you can buy through those links. Thank you guys and have a great week. We'll talk with you in a future video. Take care.